Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny. Uh, episode 476, hey, we did it, we made it. <laughs> we made it to the magic number, nah, I don't know, whatever. Uh, what I do today, nothing, just left all day. We recorded That's All Kayfabe earlier, that'll be on, on Monday. And uh, yeah, just here being a, a piece of shit, lazy piece of shit. Um, whatever, just... <laughs> just your ordinary day just another ordinary day I don't know I think that's the way the song goes uh let's look at the news let's go straight to the news right let me uh put a pot of peep poop is that right no wait there we go right or this is that better nah I like this way better it's all the same shit right uh, FBI, FBI captures three January 6th fugitives at Florida Ranch on the third anniversary of the Capitol attack. And that's crazy that these people are still on the run. Like, they're fugitives. Like, they're probably people out there with way, way worse crimes that the cops aren't going after the FBI. But they're really going after these uh, quote-unquote fugitives from the January 6th uh, uh attack on democracy i don't know whatever uh i'm just a bill sitting here on capitol hill um but yeah that's pretty crazy that they're still like like here's a picture of the three fugitives (laughs) that's crazy that they're uh i don't know just still jelling people for stuff like that you'd think they'd uh you know one star them on grand theft auto but they're still at five stars i guess uh but whatever that's what you get when you try to storm the capitol and there's so many recordings and so many videos of it they can just literally identify every single person should have wore your mask covid would have helped out there i think very much so but whatever what do i know uh, I'm not trying to aid or help uh, fugitives. That's not the point of the show. Uh, but <clears throat> Trump did chime in. Trump in Iowa demands release of those jailed for 2021 Capitol attack. And I mean, he, he was in office. He could have pardoned these people. I'm pretty sure he chose not to. And now he's like really wanting <laughs> to get them out of you know what they're going through. He could have pardoned them while he was in office, but he decided not to. Whatever. Um, yeah, during uh event in Clinton, Iowa. Clinton Epstein, that's funny. No, in Clinton, Iowa, the first Republican nominating contest a little more than a week away. Trump called those jailed in the wake of the January 6, 2021 attacks hostages and said they have been mistreated by the Biden administration. Again, like they've suffered enough i call them hostages some people call them prisoners it, you know i could see how that would get a good reaction from his uh maga friends there but uh, again he really should have done something when he had the chance he uh messed up but whatever that's that's good or, that's our trump you know like uh i'm sure if he does get back he'll make everything better but you know who who knows all I care about is making America great again. That that should be the goal for everyone, uh, not just, you know, uh, the MAGA. It should be for the liberals and the other people. Even, what's his name, RFK. He should, he should make America great again. That'd be cool. He should just, like, lift things up because he's just built. He should just have his shirt off and just have a tie on. Like the fucking the dude in uh was it final fight that that like uh mayor of the town forget but moving on to news here what do i have next oh speaking of arrests a man arrested after a world of warcraft game helps police in florida find missing 16 year old girl from ohio uh authorities say they were able to locate a missing 16 year old girl from ohio at a residence in florida with the help of world of warcraft uh, I guess the dude investigators learned the teens account for World of Warcraft an MMO online playing game was active in a residence in Florida uh, and they uh, were able to track down that home address 
whose account, uh, a 31 year old whose account, World of Warcraft account, was also pinged at that location. Uh, the dude initially denied knowing the 16 year old, but later allegedly admitted he had driven to Ohio to meet up with her and bring her back to Florida. According to the post from the sheriff's office, he was arrested later for alleging, allegedly traveling to meet a minor to engage in sexual activity, interfering with child custody and sheltering an unmarried minor. Uh, he was in a romantic relationship with a teen and planned to hide her in his home and make her his wife. That's, yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> it's, it's a modern day Romeo and Juliet, them meeting with on Discord. And yeah, a 31 year old and a 16 year old. That, hey man, he almost made it. He had one more year to hide her, and he could have, uh, could have had her. But oh well, that's the way the, that's the way the cards get dealt. You got to know when to hold them, when to fold them, and it should teach you too to not play World of Warcraft together. And that shit can be whatever. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying you should learn any lessons again. This isn't like, I'm not trying to aid in a, uh, any FBI uh, people like tr- being tracked by the FBI. This is not the point of uh, this podcast to, to uh, give advice to people in uh, avoiding crimes. Uh, what's other news here? Oh, this one. This is a, Kanye West gushes over wife Bianca Sensori on her 29th birthday. I love you so much. And every time I swear, every time I see him take a picture with this chick, her tits are just swollen. Like, I don't know if she's got a bunch of milk in them, if she's got like, uh, you know, royal jelly in there and bees keep stinging them. But like, he just loves her big old rack going around. And I'm not against it either. You know, I'm sure a lot of people aren't against it, but. Uh, here's what he said to his uh, 29-year-old Bianca Sensori, and he is 46-year-old. He is he is 46 years old, Kanye West. Happy birthday to the most beautiful, super bad, iconic muse, inspirational, talented artist, master's degree in architecture, 140 IQ, loving by my side every day. When half the world turned their backs on me, and the most amazing stepmom to our children, I love you so much. Thank you for sharing your life with me. He wrote on Instagram. That is, um, that's sweet. <laughs> I miss you when I wake up before you. He captioned a snapshot of Sensori flashing a smile. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's sweet. I hope, uh, he's getting the mental health he very much, uh, needs. Uh, and I'm glad, hopefully, his, uh, Yiddish. <laughs> His Yiddish um, fucking apology to the Jews is enough for him to get back into making music because I do like Kanye's music. I do separate the man from the art. Uh, and yeah, I hope he gets back to it and has less lesser distractions, the better uh, for his music. Because uh, again, he needs to just start making music again. But lastly, here on the news, and I thought this was weird. I didn't know about this. A company is creating bananas or has created but created bananas that never turn brown. It will significantly significantly reduce food waste. And um, <laughs> there's much promise in the development of a non-browning banana. Tropic, a UK-based agriculture biotechnology company, gene edited the fruit so that it never turns brown isn't susceptible to Panama disease and can help reduce food waste and carbon dioxide pollution. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty scary to me anyways, that uh, the banana was granted a non-genetically modified organism exception by the Philippines Bureau of Plant Industry. Uh, I don't know. This sounds scary. This sounds like, like something not natural, you know, like, like the, I've seen bread that doesn't have crust on it, and that seems unnatural. This seems just as unnatural. Bananas that don't turn brown. Um, and yeah, I get it. They're saying, oh, it's going to help, you know, keep waste down because bananas turn brown. Nobody wants them because everybody hates brown bananas. No matter who, what race you are, they hate brown bananas. Unless they're making banana bread, then you love brown bananas. But, you know, everyone wants their bananas yellow. They want them perfectly yellow. 
uh no other shade of fucking green no other shade of fucking brown but yeah this just sounds unnatural this sounds like some willy wonka shit like the cotton candy grapes where i i don't think you should be meddling like next after this the banana is going to be unpeeling itself and then they're going to be like signs of death where people are choking on bananas that are taking over their bodies through like parasitical uh type shit you know like very alien uh bullshit very science labby alien modification bullshit i don't like it i I don't think it's good bananas need to turn brown it's (laughs) like that's like uh the whole idea of uh, us being uh like they're gonna find in this put this gene in our bodies and keep us from dying and basically make us immortal you know uh again it's it's playing god we shouldn't be playing god uh whether it be with humans or fruits we should not be playing god that's why there is a god or multiple gods whatever you believe in or no god in which case yeah go ahead and enjoy your yellow ass banana that's probably tasting kind of off but still good right because it's you know genetically modified but yeah, I want to thank you for uh, listening to another episode of That's All Funny. Uh, you can find the podcast anywhere podcasts are available. Just search That's All Funny. Uh, you can check out my new podcast, That's All Cafe, with my buddy Gabe, where we talk about wrestling. That's right, just wrestling, because there's so much to talk about in the world of wrestling. Uh, if you want to hear any episodes early or see any bonus content, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. $5 gets you everything and helps support the show. Um, you got the YouTube for uh, other content too, as well as other videos, live shows I do with Mint Salad, uh, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. And if you want to purchase any uh, merch like t-shirts, prints, stickers, check out the website, retrohorries.com. Uh, we have official merchandise there. If you just want to commission some great art from a great artist, at Brett Trahori on Instagram. He's a Brett Hart graphic art. Cannot be beat. Uh, best there is, best there was, best there will be. But yeah, I want to thank you for listening. Uh, have a great uh, rest of your weekend. And stay safe. Bye. Here's <laughs> Here's